when you do it, you finish with part two, or three two, or three things in your head. All it has is that it sends blood to places where blood is in the like to the These are basic techniques. But simple, it doesn't take magic. It's not, you can see that from on uh, tour, uh, papa, uh, mommy, water, and papa, whatever, to perform anything. We don't know itself. If you meditate well, I'm telling you, me, I depend on meditation. Though. Meditation and in, 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 intuition, especially so. We have assumed that sometimes we have to lie low. But the more you lie low, the more you are buried. Seriously, it will get to a time the message will be of no value because some people are making a lot of noise, right? Those who have nothing to offer are offering their garbage. And that is what everybody is listening to. So for me, I think mysticism is time for the, 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 the doctrine of mysticism to become part of everyday living. I joined Amok in uh, 1975, before I even entered the university. Life is about the mind, or let's start with the body, the mind and the soul and the spirit. That's what I mean, you see, the triune nature of life. And if you don't harmonize these three, those who assume only the physical needs of their beings, most of the time, unfortunately, these are the people we find in public offices and things like that, who are just uh, uh, looting national coffers, uh, bribing corrupted uh, 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 administrators and that kind of thing, right? But when you know that you, you are triune and then we are also, we, we are not uh, in, uh, individually segregated or separate from each other, we are connected somehow. You see, you've, that's the universality that Amok teaches, that there's a, 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 a united humanity, right? And it goes beyond my physical body, your physical body. We are one. So when you destroy me, you are destroying yourself. When you loot national coffers, you are looting yourself. You say, well, but I, I will become richer. And uh, you know what? One day, one day, unfortunately, this is what some people don't know, that life finds ways and means of taking what you have unduly taken back from you. If not from you, from your, pro, your progeny, they will come up and they can they be amount to nothing. They won't be, even what we have stolen, they will squander it. So let's build a more, let's think about us as a nation. Let's think as a, a unit, a unit of uh, people who care for each other, who care for the welfare of each other. So that when we know, when you do, you know you're doing what is evil, you are doing it to yourself. When you are stealing state coffers, uh, stealing uh, 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 state resources, you are stealing from yourself. What I mean is that if you take it away un unlawfully, nature or life will take it away from you one day. So don't do it. If you are, you are a, 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 a young man or a young woman, build your life on the ground that there's some source of life who supports all of us. And once you do the right thing, it, you have its backing. It will back you, it will take you, there will be no limits to what you can attain. Your mind will be fertile, your body will be strong, your spirit will actually also be exalted. This is what Amor teaches. 
And this is, for me, it's exemplary. The privation. You see, we don't have it, so I would have to steal it from state coffers and all those things, and I'm going to politics, I'm going to do that, I can make money. No, you can make money and make it abundantly to, to, for yourself, for your, for count, your for family and the country, to, if you, you do it genuinely without robbing anybody, right? Uh, uh, just practicing the principle, the principle that I was telling you, oneness with all of everything, with life, with the Almighty, even with the earth on which we, we, we live, right? You must be one. Plants, look, if you cut the plants down, all the plants down, there will be no life on earth, isn't it? If you pollute the waters, where, will, where the plants get to, to grow and where will you even get water to drink? Then eventually every, everybody perishes. So it's the unity of creation. That's what I'm talking about. We should preserve it because it will be good for ourselves now and our children, grandchildren, great, great grandchildren. We assume that everything is about the physical thing that you see there. The physical thing that you see there, if you take it, take it, take it, and it gets finished, what, what do you get? But there's a source. The source is that it's so much in creation, so much in the universe, that when you learn to uh, uh, attune properly, so attune with your inner being, all answers are there. You, your body will be healed, your mind will be alert and clear, and you also nourish yourself, nourish your family, nourish the, the, the country, and nourish Mother Earth and the planet. You get me? Yes, and everybody on Earth. That's what we have to do. For me, that's what I, but look, if you do this uh, looking for money fast, like Galamse and all the dirty things and um, going into politics to uh, loot and all those things, it will end you nowhere. Life will take it away from you one day. is an organization, uh, uh, non, it's a scientific and cultural organization, non-profit organization. It's much more of an educational system that, of course, develop members' attitudes and principles of life. And then also a few of other medical or health practices that will help you as an individual to maintain a good health, dieting, and the rest of them. Uh, the training or the system of training endeavors to make one a better person. And I said it in my lecture, for a person to develop desirable qualities of mind and be a leader that will reflect you know, good values and virtues and principles. Adhere to the teachings and immune in yourself the values and the principles. Your focus of life is not about your personal individual self and selfishness. You understand that humanity must grow and you have your role to play. So you play your part in the system of humanity. So therefore, if you chance to be a leader, you have to be the greatest servant to the people. You have to go along with them in their joys and in their suffering. These are values that are placed in you as you go through the study and go through the formation. Besides, it doesn't let you relegate your own religion. It is not a religion. It is not a religious organization. It's much more a philosophical and cultural organization. We learn quite a lot over there. There are sometimes a few uh, reflections on religion that sometimes link up with a particular philosopher you might be studying. For example, you may read about St. Aquinas and some of the, 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 the principles that uh, St. Aquinas put forward are, are sort of imbibed in us, are accommodated. Uh, and other person like uh, Immanuel Kant, you might come across some of the uh, principles or the teachings of Kant and you, you incorporate all of them in your personal life. Might depends upon you what you learn. If you read them like a newspaper and put it somewhere, it's not going to be beneficial. But you try to reflect and practice what you teach, or what you learn as a country in terms of our national development. The way and manner sometimes our resources are mismanaged, 
all stemming from selfishness. But if a person is formed through the mystical principles, self goes away. Much interest is for humanity, not himself. Universal brotherhood I talked about. And that is, be that is what becomes your focus in trying to influence people and go along, there, especially when you surface as a leader. And if you will not become a leader in your own small way, practicing what you are taught will reflect on others. We have been in the for quite some time. Uh, what is it is to endeavor to make sure that even by this lecture, make our principles known and have young men and women join us and cultivate these principles for the future of our country. If you have people who have studied mysticism and are practical with it in the helm of affairs, we have a lot to gain as a country. You have a lot to gain as a country. We have had many world leaders who were and their legacy reflects whatever they did. Some of your tests and trials would have to be in the role you play in your life, family, workplace, whatever. Yes, you are intuitive, you are sensitive. What you are following is trying to meander and do things wrong. You get the sensation.